The North American YF-93 was an American fighter development of the F-86 Sabre that emerged as a radically different variant that received its own designation. Two were built and flown before the project was eventually cancelled. Design and Development In 1947, North American Aviation began a design study, NA-157, to create a true penetration fighter to meet the requirements of a long-range version of its F-86A Sabre. In order to accommodate more fuel, a much larger F-86A was envisioned, eventually able to carry 1,961 U.S. gallons, both internally and with two 200 U.S. gallon underwing drop tanks. The new variant possessed a theoretical unrefueled range of over 2,000 mi, twice that of the standard production F-86A. The resultant fighter originally designated the F-86E was intended to compete with the XF-88 Voodoo and Lockheed XF-90 to fulfill the USAF's penetration fighter requirement for a bomber escort. The F-86C was much larger and heavier, weighing in at 10,640 pounds more than its antecedent. The increased weight and girth necessitated a dual-wheel main landing gear, increased wing area and a more powerful engine. The Pratt & Whitney J-48 rated at 6,250-pound forces static thrust and 8,750-pound forces thrust available in afterburner. With the SCR-720 search radar and 620mm cannon mounted in the nose where the air intake was on the F-86A, the engineers designed a novel set of flush-mounted NACA inlets. A wasp waste was also incorporated in the fuselage. In December 1947, the Air Force ordered two prototype NA-157s and, considering the many changes to the F-86, redesignated it YF-93A. The first prototype was built with the NACA inlet ducts. The second aircraft had more conventional intakes. Six months later, the initial contract was followed up with an order for 118 F-93A NAs. In 1949, the production order was abruptly cancelled as priorities had shifted dramatically following the testing of the groundbreaking Boeing B-47 which reputedly would not need an escort due to its high-speed capabilities. With the prototype yf 93 as just coming off the production line, the USAF took over the project. Operational History The prototypes, serial numbers 48 to 317 and minus 318, began flight tests in 1950 and were entered in a fly-off against the other penetration fighter projects, the XF-88 and XF-90. The XF-88 Voodoo was declared the winner. None of the projects would be ordered. The YF-93s were turned over to the National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics Ames facility for further testing before being utilized as chase aircraft until 1956. Flight with the NACA ducts proved troublesome at high angles of attack, restricting airflow to the engines. By this time, however, higher performance aircraft were available and both aircraft were eventually declared surplus and scrapped. Operators, United States, United States Air Force. Variants, F-86C, original designation for a re-engined variant of the F-86A, two built. YF-93A, two prototype F-86CS redesignated, F-93A, production variant, order for 118 cancelled. Specifications General characteristics, crew, 1, length, 44 feet 1 inch, wingspan, 38 feet 9 in, height, 15 feet 8 in, wing area, 306 FTA squared, empty weight, 14,035 pounds, Loaded weight, 21,610 pounds, power plant, 1A, Pratt & Whitney J-48 P-6 turbojet, 8,750 pound forces, performance, maximum speed, 708 miles per hour, range, 2,000 miles, service ceiling, 46,800 feet, rate of climb, 11,960 feet per minute, wing loading, 71 pounds. Slash FTA squared, thrust weight, 0.4, armament, 6A, 20mm cannon. See also, related development, F-86 Sabre. References. Equals notes equals. Equals bibliography equals. External links.
National Museum of the USAF, North American YF-93A Fact Sheet, the F-86C YF-93 Saber, North American F-86C YF-93A, American Notebook, Derby Entrant, a report on the YF-93, Flight Archive, May 18, 1950.